Hey everybody, what's up? So a while back I talked about picking up the Ring series. Don't ask me to pronounce the name of the person who wrote this. I will butcher it seven ways to Sunday. Uh, basically, the idea is these this group of kids end up dying, about four of them, and nobody knows why. They are all in perfect health. One of the kids that dies is the relative of the main character, one of the main characters, uh... Asakawa, I think? I don't know. Don't ask me how to pronounce his friend's name. I will butcher it, like I said. And he finds out, and this is all stuff that's on the back of the book, he finds out these kids like spend a weekend at this cabin, and they watch this tape. Now, I gotta say this. I've kind of heard bits and pieces about the American version of the movie. I, I want to see the Japanese version more, because... Instead of this thing about you get a phone call after watching it saying you're going to die in seven days, it tells you on the movie you're going to die unless you follow certain instructions. Then it cuts out. So you have no idea, you know, what they have, you know, the characters have no idea what they're supposed to do. And a little bit, he makes a copy of the tape for a friend of his because his friend's into the sick stuff. And he's kind of like this philosophy professor and really smart guy he shows that his friends like friend watches and he's going yeah this is interesting and his friend kind of breaks everything down the description I can't I honestly can't describe it because there's like these series of images in that that you see on the tape and that's what I like I mean the description of each of these scenes like there's like one of them, like a picture, like a video of a volcano. Um, one's like of this woman talking about somebody having a kid. There's like different stuff, and they talk about how when the characters watch it. Sorry, she's looking up for a moment. By her, I mean my cat. Um, how they feel, you know, what they feel watching this videotape, and it's just so fascinating. I was like, holy crap, and um, I was reading it, and then it fell, or I moved it for something, I don't remember, and I found it again, like, oh, wow, I want to finish reading it. The ending is definitely not what I expected it to be, because throughout the book, and they base it off of, like, all, you know, when he finds the tape, to when he, you know, like, they ha they have to figure out this charm he and his friend, you know, like what it is, and how things evolve. You you can't. I honestly was trying to figure out, okay, what's going on. You know, what what's this charm? You know, what do they have to do? And you find out that the tape, how the tape was created, um. Which is really interesting. There's like a theory behind it. And I guess I could say it. Um, you know, his friend thinks that maybe some family was in this cabin and the kid wanted to tape a show that was on a different night, but there's like different channels, which is true. And how things happened. And the thing is, the ring kind of like it does focus on, there is this individual that it focuses on to who might, you know, who was behind the creation of the tape, who was being talked about in the video, just a lot of random stuff, and his friend seems to, like, basically not care what's going to happen, and throughout it, you know, you find out about their friendship, and, how do you pronounce, I'm like, I'm trying, I'm sorry if I mispronounce this, like I said, um, Asakawa, like I said, I'm butchering probably, um, is this journalist, and it, he talks about there was this craze in the occult that he basically lost some credibility, and he takes time off to figure out what's going on, you know, he tells his boss, yeah, there's going to be this major story, boss is kind of hesitant because there was an incident that really brought everything crashing down. Is it worth reading? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Um, I kind of read a little bit about what the Japanese version of the movie is supposed to be about, which is kind of close to the book. Um, like, I want to see it. I want to finish reading. I started the next book in the series, uh, Spiral, which kind of picks up in a weird way from the end of the first book, which I think is great. And there's this weird tie-in to how uh, both of the main characters like talking about death and his friend I don't want to give it too much away and that's the problem They're talk in, in regards to how the tape is created how everything happened there's an incident where you find out that the person who kind of helped move events along um, what he what caused it and you're sitting there going this is nuts and they talk about death um, you know do you want to die a virgin stuff like that and in the second book you kind of find out the one friend's secret because he honestly you know, he's he tells the main, the other main character um, about some stuff that he did when he was younger, and his friends are like, you know, did he really do this? There's questions. Um, the possible, you know, I'm gonna say this. There's talk about sexual assault in there, which I found weird, but it's almost like, in a weird, twisted way, it adds to a lot of the conversation that these guys have. Because you really you get kind of confused about his friends, like you know the the professor. It, it's hard to describe because some of the stuff they talk about in the book, and it's it would be giving away a lot of information, um, especially because of the fact that it really leads into the second book, and it deals with basically. Revenge, it is, like a lot of it does have to focus with revenge, and you kind of wonder, okay, so what's going on with like a couple of the scenes they describe, you know, what happened, and that's what it really is all about in a way, you know, talking about trying to, you know, save your life, what is life, you know, how people basically see life and death, I don't. That's the problem because okay, there's this here's okay. Here, this is a spoiler, so you can skip ahead a couple minutes. Um, in the ring, you know, you see the girl that pops out of the TV, who is you know, supposed to be the one that you know comes and they kill the people. And this, the girl, you know, the person that you talk about, this woman, was basically assaulted. Um, this doctor tried to rape her at this um, sanitarium because her dad was there, her mom was a psychic who basically got shoved underneath the bus, and she gained, you know, she had the psychic abilities her mother had, but on a higher concentrated level, which allowed for her to basically create what happened, the psychic imprint on this tape. And... His, when his friend talks about virginity, he talks about, you know, would you want to die a virgin? And his friend's going, you know, you talked about this, you know, the sexual assault you had on this woman. He goes, does it make sense? And what you also find out is, he's kind of screwed because, uh, Asuka is kind of screwed because his wife and kid, his young kid, I forgot to mention, is like three or four, watched in the video part of it, and he has to also save their lives. So anyways, so yeah, that's that's kind of the gist of a lot of it, um, especially where the revenge factor comes in. Overall, is it worth reading? Definitely, I would recommend it. Uh, reading it, see if you like it, then if you do, start reading Spiral. Like I said, I bought all three books. There is a fourth one, like I mentioned, that kind of goes into other stuff, but I don't know, right now, trying to find a decent copy of it. 
is hard to do. Um, I heard that they made the Ring 1 and 2, which followed this one and Spiral, and then they had like Ring O, which is like supposed to be a TV show that's supposed to focus on the book itself. So the third book didn't happen unless they combined stuff. I don't know. I have no plans of watching the American version. I'd rather watch the Japanese because it just seems more interesting. So I'm sorry for a lot of confusion, you know, trying to explain stuff with that spoiler there. But overall, it's kind of hard to describe parts of it unless you really read it. Especially, like, I'm, like, sitting in this empty laundry mat because our washer broke. And reading this book, as they're describing the events of the tape, and I'm going, oh, wow, this is just messed up. It's like, it's just me and there, yes, daylight. And it's like, I need to put the ass down for a minute. That's it, everybody. Hope you get a chance to read. If you have, let me know what you think. Talk to you all later. Take care. Bye.